Hello and welcome to the Hollywood Report for Wednesday, February 12th. I had to take a day off from the Hollywood Report on Monday and as you can maybe tell over here in the corner, there's some stuff and it's because we're redoing the room that I actually record these videos in. Uh, it used to be a playroom for Andrea's children, uh, toys, stuff like that everywhere. And then it was just kind of an empty space for a couple of years, really. And we cleaned out some stuff and made some space. I'm like, hey, why don't we just use this to be kind of like an office, a YouTube room, place for me to edit videos when Andrea does her videos. And it kind of started off as that. And that's when this type of video started. And then we decided, well, let's take it a step further. We have all of this space. I mean, I'm looking around this room right here and I want to say probably like five, like it's probably close to 10 feet deep and uh, we'll say 18 feet this way. And it's a pretty big space is what I'm trying to say there. And so what we did is we're like, well, let's make it more than just this little area. And so we started talking about, well, what could we do? A lot of our friends have jumped on the bandwagon of, I'm not going to say it just yet, but they've jumped on a recent bandwagon, kind of a, a fitness, um, I don't want to call it a fad because I actually think it might be sustainable, but trend, how about that? A fitness trend and didn't necessarily give us the hard sell, but kind of said, you know, you should really look into this. Now, what I'm talking about here took a lot of criticism over the holidays. There was, there was something about a guy gave his wife this particular workout apparatus and for Christmas. And then a year later, they like followed up with her progress. I haven't seen the video, so I'm, I'm speaking kind of out of ignorance here. But nonetheless, there was a big uproar. Apparently, the, the wife or the mom or whatever, apparently she looked fabulous, didn't need any workout equipment. And the husband's like, here's some workout gear. And apparently that wasn't well received. But besides that... Our friends and the people we know have spoke very highly, not just of this particular workout piece of equipment, but the app that comes with it. And honestly, I think the app that comes with it might be the best selling point about this particular apparatus, and that is the Peloton. Yes, the, and I wanna say it's a stationary bike, but this isn't this isn't your 1980s jazzercise stationary bike they've actually come a long way since those i remember those as a kid and um <laughs> that's all i'm gonna say about that so yes andrea and i did get our peloton delivered on tuesday so we spent a lot of time over the last four or five days mostly straightening and organizing and cleaning up the little room that we're doing these videos in and it's not completely done yet, but it was done enough that I can still do my videos in this space. And then the Peloton is sitting over there. My, uh, like I said, my initial thoughts, uh, the app that goes with this is phenomenal. It, it has boot camp, it has yoga, it has meditation, it has running, it has cycling, it has, maybe that's all it has, outdoor activities on it. So that is great. I did not expect that at all. The bike itself is really cool simply because you know how early in the morning, well, maybe not early in the morning, but you know in the morning, nah, forget it. One of the reasons why people don't work out is because they're like, well, I don't have time. By the time I go to the gym, I do my workout, drive back from the gym, shower, blah, 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 blah. Like, no, most people don't have time in the morning to do that before they go to work, especially if you have children. And then after work, like I'm guilty as the next person. After work, when you come home and you're just like, dinner's gotta be cooked, kids have to go to whatever, soccer, basketball, baseball practice, football practice, jazz, dance, cheerleading, whatever the case may be. And you're just like, I don't have time. And then you get back from all that and you're just tired, right? You're definitely not about to drive over to a gym do your workout, drive back from the gym. Plus you have to schedule the exact time that there's a class and, and it just doesn't work for a lot of reasons. The thing about the Peloton is yes, they have live classes that you can do on the stationary bike and it's like you're in the studio, 
but then they also have a ball recorded and backlogged and you can just ride whenever. And I think that is the thing that'll keep this from being a fad is the fact that I think people on balance want to be healthier. It's just the time commitment involved with it that is really a deterrent. Um, so yeah, I've, I've done two workouts on it. I've done the meditation three times now and they have all kinds of different meditations I think are great. I want to start working in the meditations before bed. I try to do a meditation in the morning when I wake up to get the day kind of, kind of go in and, and get out of that fogginess. But, um, yeah, so I will be reporting back on the progress throughout the Peloton life cycle. I mean, it's a, it's a good looking machine. Not a very big uh, footprint on your floor. And apparently, uh, apparently, if you look at their ads, they all come with immaculate homes with amazing views. And this one did, it didn't come with the new house and the amazing view. So we've got it in this room. As you can tell, there's a ton of natural light in here. I, I don't have any lighting systems on me. It's pure natural light. Three, the, the only wall that's not glass is the one that's behind me. Everything else is a glass wall. And, um, yeah, I mean, it looks like, uh, it looks like you're riding kind of outside, although I'm pretty much focused on the screen more than anything else. So anyways, that is the newest addition to the Barber household. And, uh, I will continue to follow up as, um, as, as need be, as I find things that I enjoy doing with it. If you guys have any questions, leave comments down or questions down in the comment section below. And to the best of my ability, I will, um, I'll answer them. If you do decide that you want a Peloton, I can get you $100 off. Um, I have a code. So if, if you are getting a Peloton or if you think you might get a Peloton, let me know and I'll pass along that code and then you can get $300 off. And uh, if you already have a Peloton, let me know. What do you like or, dis or dislike? Let's make it fair. What do you like or dislike about it? That's all I've got for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And until next time.